Hi, welcome into my messy workbench. Today I bring you a project that I am developing for quite some time, and it's um, a light meter for the. Uh, it's open source light meter. Um, it's based on Arduino, and it's very cool. Okay. Uh, you can see I call it Lux and uh, it's a nice name um, okay let's start uh, presenting it in the front we have three buttons the select button the up button the down button and LCD screen uh, not LCD it's all at screen uh, 128 by 64 it's connected in SPI mode okay uh, not much in this side on the other side uh, we have the connector of LCD here a light sensor I think it's a TSL 2591 uh, sorry, I don't pick this project for a long time now, <laughs> so I'm doing a video to present to you. It's not finished yet, it's um, almost finished, but not 100% not finished. Um, so, we have here the light sensor. We have here uh, a charging for the battery, a chip that charges the battery. The 3.3 3 uh, regulator. It's a, it's a, this is a couple of uh, diodes. Okay, I don't know what how it's called. It's two diodes for a battery or power. So you have power here in the USB, micro USB. It only um, uh, brings power to the circuit, nothing more. Uh, because our, our we are using for Arduino the this chip is 64k. Okay, it's a uh, 8 mega 60 644p. Has bigger memory for the LCD commands, etc. Uh, we have the crystal, the reset button, the charging light. This is the SPI port. Okay, and this is the serial port for programming. Uh, the ship. Uh, you can program either for by the SPI, okay, or you flash the boot loader and then uh, programming via serial port for debugging, and that's all. It's the, the battery is not uh, this one. Uh, it's a thinner one. I'm waiting for it, but I put this for just for demonstration. Okay, you have also a um, piezo for uh, a bit of sound, like sounds. And uh, feedback sound is it's very good for these projects. Okay, so let's start. So, if you charge, if you plug the charge here in a micro USB port, it will light the LED. When it's finished, the light the LED goes down okay okay I will reset now so this the, the uh, opening screen not all, all the time it's just when you you uh, reset it or it loses all battery okay this is an open source light meter um, okay let's start if we click here in the middle we start to make the light uh, measurements. Um, this is the changing uh, the digits. This is the fixed. This is the mode battery. This is the fixed the ISO. So you you put these values here in uh, the the bottom part. It's fixed. So this this will change. Uh, when you make the readings, so uh, I'm reading F 
16 so uh, he gave me one quart one uh, four so, uh, I can change it for whatever I want and the, the it assumes the readings okay you only want uh, need to read one time then you can change here the the value and this will calculate the value uh, on the top part so we now are in the uh, aperture priority uh, I will make a reading it's the same because we are the same height but let me do some you see uh, this is not well calibrated yet but uh, it will in the future so what is how this is is uh, the behavior of this this um, this light meter so you, we do the read this with one click you go up and down change this value here okay the F the aperture this is the time so you are in aperture priority here okay if you want to change you just need to click for one second up and then you get t time priority you see taken here then it switches the, this this digit to, to here so we can uh, make a new measurement for these values two values you get gives you the aperture okay uh, the the range is very good. It goes from F. Okay, it's, uh, this one will say it's too much. Okay, F19 to to F1. I thought I think so. F1. Okay, F1. F1. So. In F1, you need one of a sec, uh, one thousand of a second to make your uh, exposure. So um, this this ISO value can be changed with the holding down button. So you change the ISO. Okay, it uh, automatically uh, calculates the um, the values. And uh, what more I can say? Uh, this is the battery. Okay, uh, it will show you the battery level. And it's charging now if it's connected. Okay, look, it's good. Um, if you uh, want to blow block, it goes time out after seconds. If you want to. Uh, to block the, the screen up and down buttons you just click two times double click just a second okay see it's locked now the up and down buttons doesn't do anything to it only the the exposure okay so you can um, block the, the desired values then you can uh, uh, read the values without uh, the, the um, touching these buttons accidentally and uh, changing the the parameters okay then you want to unlock just double click okay it unlocks and uh, I think I didn't forget anything here and okay let's go to the menu you have to go to menu you just click one second here in the middle I don't know maybe three times then <laughs> I can't remember it's a long time okay this locks this changes the aperture priority to time priority this goes to ISO 200 and I think if you hold Ah, okay. You need to hold. This button is a bit um, damaged, so maybe in the hold too much. Okay, you have a menu with the nice icons here. Is it? You have sound. Okay, you uh, can switch on and off the sound. 
I don't know if you can hear maybe not this uh, is making beeps so um, you can stand by time can, can, um, for now it's just a few options on the menu okay stand by for 30 seconds two minutes five minutes off you can shut off standby mode so you select it and you have a calibration uh, if you want to calibrate your sensor better okay you can put down this value and uh, go up then put up and save okay yeah. then it's all you have to go to exit okay and that's all that's all for now look the battery is already <laughs> saying that uh, three, four quart three quarters of the battery is off now this can last for um, about uh, while charge it can last a week more or less depending on the use if you use it uh, frequently maybe two days okay but it's a battery you can charge it uh, whenever you want uh, it takes about two hours to charge and uh, uh, that's it it's cute little project this is the revision C I already made some uh, PCBs 143228P Arduino but it's not enough because if you want to run this kind of menus and tweaks and graphics you need more more RAM and more app ROM okay um, uh, I think I don't forget now so uh, okay that's all and uh, this will be open source I'm in the middle of making the case yeah. okay this will be the case you see these buttons will align with these three ones and um, the KiCad uh, schematic will be released uh, soon when it's finished then you can improve and make your your own uh, let me s show you the KiCad project here ok it's open KiCad I don't think you can see it ok let's see schematic ok ok it's missing something but it's not entirely on this computer ok I don't know if you can see 64 644p this is the power uh, buttons the, the USB the UART port sensor LCD it's nothing much it's traditional connections um, and the, the PCB it's done also which let me show you this it's all finished as you can see as I told you this region see I don't know if I'm gonna make another one maybe but I think this is enough for now uh, I, I think the community will help as soon as they get those light meters okay and uh, it's, 
it's very cute because it's it's very light. Look at this. The battery is even smaller than this one, slimmer, and they will fit here. You can see the the footprint of the battery here. Okay, I can show you some 3D graphics I did. It. So this is not a finished one, but you can see how is it going to look. Okay. Sorry. Uh, you can see the PCB inside. This is the back part. Okay. And uh, I think it's all. Oh, uh, the code I written on item. It's C++, but uh, it's Arduino compatible. <sighs> Let me open the project. This is another project, just a second. bunch of projects going uh, I think it is so yes I think it is it's this one. maybe I don't know can't remember because I didn't pick this for a while now as you can see there's a lot of thing going on here a lot of lines of code so in main you have about it's a lot almost 1000 lines we have fonts custom fonts for it look at this icons custom icons and the main thing of this uh, this software is the the light table we have the, the tables for the aperture for the time so this guys this don't calculate um, uh, the decimal values and then converts for the nearest nearest um, value we have a table we have a light number okay um, you in uh, it's a three-dimensional table. It's not two values. It's three. So if you have uh, a five, you can have a different kind of situations. Understand? Uh, we have three values: the ISO, the aperture, and the time. So it's uh, it's very complex. We have a lot of values. Um, one third of uh, light value. Okay. So you don't go for F2, F4, F8. You have the intermediate values. Okay. Uh, you can see if, uh, 40 elements, 64 elements for only for uh, time, and uh, the aperture 40 elements, the ISO 37 elements. So it's quite complex and uh, I needed to change the ship to uh, uh, could fit this table uh, in the in the app room okay so uh, it's not only, only 10 values it's more and it's it's more precise because you have a light value then you you go to the table and find the correct value. that's why you can uh, do this Okay, change the value without reading because it's a table. Understand? Like like the light meters, you have a value, then go and uh, find your settings. Okay. Uh, I think it's all. Uh, this is my tag that 76. Nothing special. And um, I hope you like it. 
this uh, is a nice project. Uh, it's about uh, I'm been in this project for about uh, one uh, one year. I pick about uh, uh, almost three months in develop hardly. Then I when I have free time I do it. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of code. I can <laughs> I don't pick this for a while, so I need to read the old code to start picking up. Okay. Hope you like it. I opening for suggestions. And uh, until the next video. Okay. Maybe I show you already in the box. I'm going to do a, a 3D box for um, uh, a 3D printer box first. Then I, maybe I find someone who wants to do in resin or something. But now it's a 3D printed box for uh, measuring purposes and and tweaking. Okay, it will be fun. Okay, I still waiting for the battery. And uh, these things takes time because you it it almost. Uh, one month to the PCB to arrive. This is the third third revision, so three months. If I go in in the hurry, then the, all the code and stuff. Okay. I hope you like it. Uh, that's all for now. Okay. Bye.